Hi everyone, my name is Martha. I'm a relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. And uh, today I want to do a video about my makeup routine. This is not something that I'm uh, really into, but I just wanted to share this for anybody who's interested. And uh, this is the second time I'm recording this because the previous video, I realized the resolution wasn't very sharp and I've finally been able to figure out how to make it better. So I decided to make it for a second time. So usually when I do my makeup routine, first I wash my face and um, then I uh, wash my hands, of course. And then this other two, uh, collagen, collagen and vitamin C. So I use either, not both. So I just apply it all over my face first. I literally just put like a drop and then I just apply it all over my whole face. Um, and then I apply my eye cream around my eyes and actually over my whole face. I then apply my sunblock. So I've really done that just now because um, I, I like to apply it early and then allow it to be absorbed into my skin before I apply my foundation. And also I had some other things to do just now. So I use this uh, foundation. Uh, this is uh, Gosh and I actually have many products under Gosh because this product is more organic. And so I literally just apply two drops first. I put it all over my face. I dot it and then... I just very lightly very and quickly, I just spread it over my face very, very lightly. So it's quick and light touches. I don't want it to actually, uh, I don't want to like rub, you know, and uh, push it into my skin. I was told that this is, this is not good. So it should just kind of sit on your skin. And the way you apply actually makes a difference. You know, there's this saying uh, in, my, in my work as well, it's not what you do, it's also the way you do it. So I'm, I'm doing it really quickly because I'm actually also in a bit of a hurry. I have a call in 30 minutes and I have other things to do. So I might reapply. I have a mirror here. <laughs> so that's why I'm looking into this because um, everything here is reversed. So I might just put a second layer over the parts that need more coverage, but I don't really like to have uh, thick makeup and I also have very sensitive skin. So I can't, I don't like a lot of product on my skin. I might apply, today I'm doing filming, so I'm putting more coverage. Even with this uh, quarantine lockdown in Singapore, I'm still quite busy. I have online calls and things going on. So, so very light, very light. Try to be <laughs> gentle with yourself. I'm, I'm rushing a little bit because I have many things to do. So whenever I put on my makeup, I have work. <laughs> so I started to call it my game face so it kind of starts to prepare me mentally for work as well and I just want to be a little bit more presentable for my clients so right now you can see like my face is probably a little bit fairer than the rest of my rest of my face so don't worry too much about it because like I'm talking to myself not not like for you like through the day it gets oxidized so it can look fairer right now but actually through the day my my face does become quite oily and then i'll touch up i use the powder to absorb my skin so a lot of these tips i actually learned from my friend yukiko she's a makeup artist and after one session with her like my makeup techniques became like 100 percent better so I know I'm a bit rough. Actually, you need to be really gentle. So she tells me that I'm too rough with my skin. Okay, after that, um, it's like 
it's like a painting, isn't it? You make sure the palette is clean and ready. And uh, then I have this makeup brush. Actually, most of my products I get from this place in Singapore called Sasa, and it's kind of, it's closing down. And uh, so I don't know. Like in future, I will probably get these products on. I I heard. This is my makeup brush and this is the palette that I, I use. So I use the blush and then I use the side for the highlight on the like the shadow on the side of the face so that there's more definition and it just looks more three-dimensional. So at the moment, like I don't really blend and I could like use more brushes, but for the rest of rest of the face, I actually use my hand. I use this part, which is the highlighter, and then I highlight the bridge of my face, bridge of my nose, sorry, uh, and then under my eyeballs, just to have a bit of a highlight under my eyes. So before that, I didn't know anything. I just knew like foundation and blusher, and um, See more, more definition already. And then at the side of my uh, eyeballs, where it curves, I will apply here, I'll apply some shadow. So I look, my nose looks sharper. So at this moment, I don't really apply uh, my powder yet. So my powder is also in a way like a blender. So then I apply my my eyebrow. So short and quick. And it should touch, touch this side. Because my eyebrows are very faint. You just kind of make it more natural. So I've been drawing in my eyebrows since I was like 13 because my powder, my... So you use different brushes and you actually have to clean it, but I haven't been really cleaning it. So I have like a separate pouch for my makeup just to separate it from other things. Uh, and then I might apply another layer of blusher because you see after I apply the powder, it kind of blends. So usually I like to make sure that I have more blusher because Otherwise, because my makeup is very light, so I have to apply more of the product because I don't like my makeup to be very thick. This is my lip balm. I don't use lip gloss. I don't really like the glossy feeling. This is my red lipstick also from Gosh. <laughs> this is my mirror. I know there are people who apply like lip 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 liner with lip pencil. I don't really do that. So yeah, this is my look. My look. Um, I'm just doing it very quickly today because I'm busy and I have filming. So just apply more foundation to ensure this coverage. I can, as you can see, uh, I'm putting on my earrings. That's kind of part of my look. I love these earrings because they are orchid and orchid is the national flower of Singapore. 
So yeah, this is my look. I used to have uh, many pairs of earrings that I like to alternate with. But over the years, I just decided to make everything really simple. And so this is the look. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. And uh, I'm a sex and relationship counsellor. So I really like to invite all of you to join me on my email list so that you get uh, all my latest news and updates relating to my work. I, I feel that makeup does help the person in terms of confidence. And when I apply makeup, I feel that um, it looks more socially acceptable because uh, people, people assume that people who put on makeup have put in a little bit more effort. And I want to put in effort for my clients to uh, put on my best face. Uh, so that they are not distracted by why she not, as opposed to uh, me wanting them to feel that I have made an effort to put in my best self forward. And so over over time and over the years, I when I put on makeup for work, it just kind of uh, came about that uh, when I put on my makeup, the makeup is my game face. That's kind of how it has evolved. So actually, makeup then um, has also, because of this transition from personal to professional, it actually helps me to get into that heat space as well, preparing for my client, preparing for my work. So it does make a difference in terms of knowing that uh, people, you're not distracting people with like staring at your blemishes. Um, I know some people, they don't put on any makeup. I think a lot of it is just personal preference. Uh, for me, I, I really like uh, putting on my red lipstick. People, people think that oh, people who wear like red lipstick are uh, like trying to be, trying to be sexy or trying to be loud. For me, red lipsticks to me is actually about pleasure and joy. And I like it because actually I have this whole video about my red lipstick story. Um, previously, every single time I go for a makeover or have makeup by a professional, they always try to downplay my lips. And I like my lips. I, I like the, red, the color red on my lips. And so I had to explore for myself what is it that I really like separate from what is the right way of makeup artists um, because like if you have thick lips you don't want to draw attention to it so that your whole face looks more balanced I understand that however what do I like what do I like um, so I realized that I like red lipstick and it sounds cliche and everything I really had to go in and explore what kind of makeup I like and uh, this kind of makeup feels natural and comfortable for me because it is going to last for the whole day. And so it is important that you find something that is sustainable, that is quick uh, for you. So that is the extent of the makeup that I apply. And I suppose for some occasions where uh, if I'm on stage, um, I may need to have like more, learn more advanced techniques, but this is pretty much the look that I have. And uh, I think it comes across as pretty obvious that I don't apply too much of it. And you can see it didn't take a long time. So yeah, this is Martha. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my mailing list. That's erscoaching.com.